Lord Pickle World. Uh, Lord Pickle King is a great Mario Maker player um, and designer. Um, uh, he actually designed the level I did at SGDQ this year, the hard level. Um, does a lot of cool SMB1 stuff too um, on Mario Maker. I, I, I'm a, a fan of his creations. Uh, this is a hack dedicated to him. He didn't make this one, this hack dedicated to him. So, um, it's, uh,. I'm, I'm interested to see what it's like. It's uh, been suggested by multiple players to me. Um, it's pretty cool. I did watch the trailer for it and it had a midair. If it has a Super Mario World midair, we might be here forever because I am historically bad at Mario World midairs. Like, insanely bad at them. Mario 3, fine. Mario Maker, I'm okay. Mario World, really bad. 18, oh. Oh, well, I'm dead. I'm dead already. That's fine. Twiz, Dr. T. Miller. Yeah, we're just getting it started. I'm just getting right in there. The people of Shroomland are starving. You will not be saving the princess, but literally anyone else. She can stay kidnapped. Well, I think that's, that's something. Twiz, thank you for that Twitch Prime. Jack's Hut. Let's check out Jack's Hut. No changes to this. Due to the physics of one of the custom blocks, wall jumping has been disabled. Also, L and R scrolling because memes. Okay, so no no scrolls in this, and no wall clipping in this. So, oh, we're dead. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting him to be right there. Uh, we got a retry system. Um, we got blue coin. It looks like blue coins for um, spin jumps. Dang, okay, I see what's got to happen here. Yeah, right off the bat, digging the soundtrack. Is it really an, an original soundtrack? I, I don't think you can call it an OST, yeah. Just an ST. Death counters aren't really in hacks anymore because the SNES Classic can't handle them. Uh, so that's why most hacks don't have death counters anymore. Okay. And we're to the first checkpoint. Look at us, already there. Doing well. Zombie, thank you for six months in a row. Damn it. I was gonna say, is it Is it going to shoot anything? Sir Roderick, thank you for nine months. It didn't shoot for the longest time, and then I didn't think it was actually going to. That was a shame moment. Oh, shoot. Um, so far, just judging by one level, pretty fun little one day hack. Oh. Um, the suggestion, I, I wanted some, like, smaller hacks since we just did Kaizo 3, so. Well, that was embarrassing. Do I need to go right away or jump on him? I feel like I need to spin jump on the guy, but I think it... I might be doing it wrong. 
Yeah, humans, humans may have lived without video games, TV, and internet for the majority of human history, but I'm just saying, I don't, I don't want to move backwards. <laughs> I want to keep going forward. That was cool. Alright, one level down. One level down, done and done. Into this hack. Yeah, would you really call that living? I feel like, I feel like up until that point, everyone, like, the reason we have TV now is because we finally got to the point where, where humans could relax, right? Up until, up until maybe like, I don't know, a hundred, you know, like, 150 years ago, humans were just like, trying to survive. Just, you, you, like, a day-to-day -day trying to not die. Like, once once we got plumbing, I feel like plumbing, it, things really started to take off. We used to get all winter off of not doing anything. You, man, I, I think about, like, how often I get, have to get up and pee in the middle of the night and how uncomfortable I am uh, when it's cold doing that. And it's, like, a three-foot walk. Like, people used to have to go in like storms and just poop in a hole a hole full of other poop that was not fun <laughs> uh these orange star blocks can be jumped off of go in the door to try it out before you inevitably die okay so you literally gotta press the button right And I can't spin jump off it. It's only a regular jump. Okay, cool. I'm in on it. Okay, I need to go earlier so that I can re-spin jump. This looks fun. I'm kind of in on this, which is funny because we all know how much I hate wall jumping. Yeah, this song is hot. Damn it. This song is hot. This is cool. Yeah, this is a really cool hack. I'm I'm in so far level one, level two, I think are pretty fun. That was a cool little move. You gotta climb the wall. Whoa. Did you guys, there's something up top there. Up this one. There's a door up there. Oh, that's the practice door. Never mind. That's the practice door. I was gonna say, this is a new Super Mario Brothers song, isn't it? I don't think New Super Mario Brothers has bad music. I just think it's slow. Okay, there's the key. taking the checkpoint. Yeah, that was dumb. I should have taken the checkpoint. Well, I didn't want to get caught, like, with the checkpoint and then die and then not get the key, but it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm gonna get both exits. Oh, the rage. Oh, man, I like when we can get something new and it's awesome. that up. How do I get, I want to get 
get back over there. No! Stop falling on me! We got the key in. <laughs> this space, come on. <laughs> Alright, let's do this, baby. Oh. Okay. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Yo, I like the Zelda music right off the bat. Oh, okay, I see what I need to do. This is dope. Yeah, this is a really cool level, and I love the Zelda music. Okay, I need to go over here now. Okay, so we need to move left. This is really awesome. Ooh. Oh. Okay, we need to go up here. Hit that one. All right. Oh no! Rage. All right, so that's that'll be the end. If people throw more shade towards like I, I feel it's the, the problem is like the hype that In and Out Burger has, like and and I get it because it's In and Out Burger is fucking delicious, like it really is. Uh, but at the same time, it's just it's you know it's five dollar burger. It's not be all end all of anything. And then they compare In N Out Burger to like they're like, oh this burger I had at Gordon Ramsay's restaurant was way better and I'm like, well it's not not the same thing, you know? <laughs> like you gotta compare it to McDonald's, baby. Oh I need that Shell. Oh man. Nuggets are just delicious. Nuggets are among the top ten food that man has created, in my opinion. Among amongst the top ten. Dang it. Wait, can I grab that now? Yump with a shell. I don't think I've ever done a yump with a shell. Alright, well, two levels took me 11 minutes. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever done one with a shell. That was new. That was a fun, fun level. Yeah, that was, that was a, that was the first, the first time I've ever done that. Oh my god! Oh, I screwed that up. Oh, oh. Alright, we made it. I'm bringing the key with me. I didn't get to bring the key with me. Okay, that was cool. I'm all for doing more of these jumps. Hit like the shells, though. Yeah. Dude, totally, totally a Mario Maker new Super Mario Brothers level right there. <laughs> 
It was that that ending was in like every new Super Mario Brothers hard level at one point in time. I liked it though. Guillotine Caverns. We're moving right, right along. This is this is really fun. Yeah. Oh, screwed that up. How many exits? Whoops. Uh, I don't- I do not know how many exits, but I asked for, like, hacks that would take, like, a day or two. Suggestions, so... I'm gonna assume around 16. Okay, the aesthetics on this level are fucking awesome. This level's hot. Count it? Count it. <laughs> Count it. Damn it. I missed the timer. <laughs> I keep forgetting the timer. Anaconda rifle, thank you for two years. Uh, almost. 22 months is essentially two years. Just minus, you know, two months. Oh, I screwed that up. Oh, I had a second chance and screwed that one up as well. This hack's awesome. I, like, this hack's challenging, but it goes. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm not getting challenged. Like, a lot of times with these quick hacks, you, you feel like you're not getting challenged at all. I, I, feel like, I feel like you're getting challenged. I think these are all things that, you know, have been, like... The, the, what do I want to say? The obstacles are obvious, you know what I mean? It's not like you're having to figure out what to do. Which is great for, like, a, a... Oh, Andy, I'll, I will fight you. Um, great for, like, a new kind of, like, one-day hack. I really love the rise of one-day hacks. Oh, you're a dick. Happen. I can't get past this. This is a proof positive that water levels are always the hardest. Okay, so then we're gonna get a double turtle shell. We're gonna get a green turtle shell that we can jump off of twice out of that box. wrong about the double shell though. One, two, three. Hey, we got that first try. Alright, we didn't die first try after the checkpoint. Oh, I should have just trusted the, trusted the coin. all the way up there, buddy. Oh. 
shit. I had it. I had that right there. Oh, I can't go through there. I gotta go through here. I see. I thought I could just make it right there. <laughs> exactly, Kentucky. Where I went to high school. Watching me play is nature's KY. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Um, this hack is nature's KY. Oh, this blue, um, this blue lava right here. I see where we need to go. Aha! Look at that. Magic. Oh, what's going on here? That's not what I wanted to do. This level's tough. I think anytime you spin jump off moving objects in Mario World, it's pretty hard. Oh. There we go. Hey! 9 out of 10 rec dentists recommend... Yeah, like, what if my dentist that I've had my whole life was, like, the one guy that was like, No, drink a ton of blue Gatorade, man. It'll totally help your teeth. Maybe he knows his stuff, though, and the other nine are just playing it safe. See, that type of skepticism is not good, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like we gotta trust the nine out of ten dentists. That's just me. That's just me. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe I am wrong. Maybe, maybe that one dentist is the smartest one. Alright, this is a nice little, uh, a nice little simple fight here. Oh, right underneath me. This, uh, boss music's hot. Does this make more money on bad teeth? Oh, that's fair. I don't think you get in the dental game, though, to... <laughs> I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but, like... I don't think you get in the dental game to not help people's teeth. I feel like... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe, maybe the long-term play of Big Dental is just put dentures in, you know what I mean? That's how they get you your whole life. Maybe you guys all had the one dentist. Maybe you guys are the ones... Maybe I've always had 9 out of 10 dentists and they've been super nice. But you guys have had the one dentist. If they got 10 out of 10 dentists, someone might finally question how many dentists they actually asked. I feel like... Yeah, I mean, what was I going to say? I'm, I'm always curious about those things. Like, did they just ask 10 dentists? Oh yeah, sure, that brush is great. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. I don't know if I've ever seen a commercial for anything tooth-related that didn't have the... 9 out of 10 dentists, you know what I mean? Like... I want to hear one where it's like 8.25 dentists agree on this.
Thank you.